fourth and fifth recorder playing musicians. Uh, I received all of your videos for your first recorder song, and I'm just so proud of you guys for figuring out your music. I'd say the two things that I noticed that we can keep working on is we were kind of uh, aggressive with our air. So I was hearing um, a lot of Uh, which is just simply having that cold air rather than that gentle, warm air. So that is a goal for you to focus on this week is getting that gentle air rather than And we are improving so much on that scary house noise. Instead, I heard a lot of uh, fixing when that noise happened. So keep just double checking your fingerings as you're practicing. You have as long of a time to practice as you want. Uh, keep respecting your parents though. So if your parents are like, you gotta put the recorder down for now, I'm going insane. Then listen to them and find another time. Although I'm sure they won't go insane if you just use your gentle, warm air as you play the recorder. All right, so let's review some of our fingerings and notes that we're gonna need for this week. So we start, of course, with B, pinching, making sure that back hole's covered. And then we add one note for A. And then we add one more note for G. And then we're gonna chunk it. Two fingers. And remember, the more notes you add, the more gentle your air needs to be. And fourth graders, today you guys are gonna need your low D, the second hardest note to play on recorder. So every hole is covered except for that bottom one. A lot of kids, they'll get confused and they'll go like this. That's not a D. This is what you want with that hole uncovered. All right, let's do a few more echoes on this D. All right, and then fifth graders, you're gonna need Let's see, one other note today. So you know our C, got the thumb and that, but actually today we're gonna play D, which I believe we learned briefly before we had to leave. So D, that's a hard one to show on a video, but only this finger is left, no thumb. So it's really hard to demonstrate that unless the recorder is already in your mouth because it's kind of hold, hard to hold the recorder. So we're going to do some echoes from C and then we're going to take off that thumb to do D. So we're on C. So right there I went from C and then I took that thumb off. Now I'm going to start on D this time. Right, now I'm going to do some from D to B, which is a huge switch. You're taking one off and adding two on, and that's what you're going to have to do for this week's song. Yay! Challenges! So we're on D. All right. So you might want to practice uh, fourth graders that low D a few times and fifth graders you might want to practice that high D. They have different challenges. The low D, you need to really control your breath, make sure that you're not overblowing and that you're covering all your holes correctly. Now the high D, your breath and obviously you're not covering that many holes. That's not the challenge here for you. Your challenge is just kind of getting your fingers to do what you want them to do and get used to that. So we have two songs to learn today. Fourth graders, you are doing Old MacDonald, a fourth grade recorder classic. 
And fifth graders, you're gonna do a song that I've actually never taught on recorder, but I've taught on piano a bazillion times. Uh, they called it Go and Tell Aunt Nancy. I know it as Go Tell Aunt Rhody. Uh, so you're going to review the notes, uh, review the fingerings, and then start learning that song. And I would just love to see a video of you guys learning this song and practicing it. I was so impressed watching your guys' videos last time. Remember to follow the CISP method. First, clap your rhythm. Ta, 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 ta. Then identify the notes with your brain. Look at it and think, okay, it starts on a B. The next note's a B. Next note's a B. Next note's an A. Identify those notes, then practice speaking it while playing. B, 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 A, G, G. And then finally, once you've mastered that, then start playing your recorder. So by the time you actually get your mouth to your recorder, uh, you will have done a lot of work on the song and then maybe it won't sound as terrifying and your parents won't uh, regret ever letting me teach you guys music. So, uh, have fun with it, and I will have some demo videos later in the presentation so you guys can double check your work. Have fun!